What's up, y'all? This is Daniel. And this your boy, Damo. Oh, oh. And this your boy, Levante. And this is the Born Leader Wrestling Podcast. Uh, so yesterday, oh fuck, AEW Dynamite, the main event, Heyman Page got knocked the fuck out in real life. Y'all didn't see that? What, what show was this? Dynamite. I thought you were watching clips. By who? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, y'all didn't see none of this no, shit. No. John, okay, so John Moxley, they they had a it was a uh, the last it was the main event for the AEW Championship. And John Moxley went and did a clothesline, like a clothesline from hell. Yeah. And knocked that nigga to hell. Flipped him. <laughs> <laughs> flipped him, and that nigga was out. Like, he was out. So I'm thinking, like, i seen the clips. I'm thinking, like, oh, it's just like, you know, they're playing off. Like, no, the, the referee came. The doctors came in. I'm like, you know, it's still a work. Yeah. That nigga didn't move. They stretched him out. Uh, Then they said that he had a concussion. But then they slowed it down. And yeah, that nigga knocked the, the fuck, fuck out of him. And I, I, I thought it was like a, but it was like, nah, they wouldn't do that for the main event of a, yeah, they had to stop the match. Yeah. Mm. So John Moxley just signed a five year deal and then he knocked the fuck out of Heyman Page. So you brought that Heyman up just to bash some niggas, huh? No, it's, 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 it's top news. Um, I wouldn't say top, but Jericho uh, resigned for three years. This is a good deal. I think um, I think John Moxley jumped the gun and did a five year deal, which is too damn long for a company for AEW for a startup company. Three years is comfortable. Jericho could do three years, get more money out of Tony Khan for three years, and then I asked you a question about John. I had a question to ask you about John Moxley. Somebody uh-huh. told me to ask you for my job. Shout out to um, Joe Antos. Um, he asked me to ask me to ask you where the hell else could John Moxley go? <laughs> WWE. Not with the drinking. He 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 sobered up. What are you talking about? He that's he's the whole point sober. of him. He's not sober. That's the whole point of him if when he, he went to the sober. If he's sober, he's not. You sober. seen you seen John Moxley before? And then when he got healthy, it's two different people. It's like it's like Gucci Mane. If you no. go back and look at no, yes. If you go back and look when John Moxley first came in AEW not Gucci versus Mane. now, it's Gucci Mane without the tattoos. But yeah, he cleaned so, up. So so me rebuttal into that. If John Moxley would have went to WWE, mm-hmm. would what position would he be in? Because uh, he can't go f- top face, baby face. He would John be Moxley a, would be a top a baby face, top baby face. Mm-hmm. So he'll surprise everybody. No, he'll be at the top. Like he'll be like the Cody Rose, the Seth Rollins. That's the top. Is that the top? I mean, I'm actually I that, 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 that's, oh, that's what I think the top I, is. I, Cody I, Rose. Me personally, I would think he would come as a mig as a Gunther. No, 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 no. He he at the top. He mm. paid his dues. He'll be like the Cody Rose. Cody Rose at the top. He came in from AEW. And, yeah, Cody Rose was, and then he bring Renee Young with her with him, just like he did with that. I think he would have been good. I think he could have. I think me personally, and I'm not a Dean Ambrose fan, and John Moxley fan, but I think he could have actually came in and went straight to Roman. I'm not saying he would have won, but I think he could have came in and had a, and had a feud straight to Roman. That means you're right. You wouldn't. You agree? That means you just said bullshit. You don't see Bing that? Bong. He had too many shots. <laughs> you don't you see that? <laughs> you don't see that? Like I don't. I don't. Honestly, how? I I because how WWE is booking and who they have right now and what they got going on. I just don't see it like that. And then on top of that, you know you got to come in with a squad. You can't just come in being John Moxley. No, John Moxley is different though because he cannot beat six niggas. No, no, I'm saying the John Moxley he is now. He's like before he even left. He's like the the crazy one, right? His whole his whole promo, his own demeanor is like he's crazy. He don't need people. He's like fuck you. I'm gonna have to. He bleeds every fucking day on NXT. Like I mean, uh, uh, AEW. Like he's the whole even before when he left, he's like the whole crazy guy. He don't need help. He's I forgot what they call this stuff, but yeah, I don't think he needs a squad. I think it's weird for him to have a squad. But he wouldn't be able to beat Roman. I just said I don't know if he would beat Roman. I just said he would go he would have a feud against Roman. I would see I could see a feud. I would need it to make sense. And I could see Roman beating the I was I could see the bloodline beating his ass and that's how he lose. But I would see, that would be a good feud. It will, it will always be a story with anybody from the shield. Yeah, you could. It'll always be a story. I agree with. I agree with that. I agree that even with himself, him will team up and come back. I, I don't know, but 
I would, but I, I don't know. I don't. I, me personally, I don't see him coming in and them actually doing right by him. But it that'd be an easy um, fix when it comes to if he came back and he he has to go for Roman. Yeah, he has. It to. don't happen. But I mean, I I can see it. And and because uh, he can either he can go for Seth. He, Seth is the one that that. That hit him in the back with the chair yeah. when he broke up. Like I mean, you go, you yeah. go a lot of ways. But see, it's a story though because they have a history. Yeah. You no, know, right. I'm just Seth asking Rollins, questions. I don't, I don't really Seth give Seth Rollins. Fuck. I don't give a fuck about none of the motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, uh, that'd be just a good storyline. So y'all don't watch AEW. So the baddies, right? So right now, <laughs> so shout out to the baddies of the LA. <laughs> Them bitches is crazy. Oh, that shit trash. <laughs> so uh, the the AEW baddies, right? Um, they're breaking up soon. I can see it. So they got this so thing. They the, did it already. No, they got this thing going on where I forgot her name. One of the 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 one of the heel superstars stole um um Jade title. So she's running around saying she's a TBS champion, but she didn't beat Jade. She just stole the title, right? So they was at some kind of like convention. And the girl came in with the title, like on on live, like ah, oh, I got I got the title. And took a picture and with the Hogan baddie, and yeah, the baddies was in the background, and they was like, "Bitch, come here!" Da, 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 da. They had the whole commotion, or whatever. And Jay went on um something in my mind. Jay went on Twitter, like basically, you hoes didn't get my title back. Like I've been telling y'all, how y'all gonna let this bitch get away with my title when y'all was right there? And it was um the new girl Hogan and um um. Ain't Red Velvet was, was, was back. She was there. Well, no, she was at the convention shit. So then, long story short, this week, the, well, yesterday, the baddies was looking for the title, looking for old girl, and then Jay was like, look, I'm about to just get my title back my damn self because y'all worthless, y'all ain't worth shit, blah, blah, blah. So I think AEW is turning Jay babyface because the, the girl that took her title is a heel, and she's going against the baddies, in a way, like I don't need y'all, and the crowd is starting to cheer Jay. You see when she, ki- I don't think if y'all seen it. But she well, I kicked posted, the fuck out yeah, of Jay, she, elbowed the other nigga. Yeah, and, and everybody yeah. was cheering. So I'm thinking like she's they trying to turn her baby face some kind of way. I don't think you can turn her baby face. I don't think it's possible. You seeing more more people in the crowd with Jay signs and you and they cheering you see a little more, more people with Roman Reigns signs too. I don't still think you can turn them baby face. I think that they are who they are, and. Yeah, is she gonna go against everything? Is she gonna go against the baddies and all? I think that's for sure. But I don't see her actually being nice on the mic. She she has to come with that attitude. You still had attitude, but not but face. She face cannot heels. be Bianca. She cannot. We didn't say. Are you going too far? No, I'm, no, I didn't no. say that. I'm saying. As, how dare you? <laughs> as Bianca character, how she's the cheerleader. She Jade can't be that. Jade has to have that spice to her. That's what makes Jay Jade. But WWE is different from AEW. Because I'm just you can using, have I'm that, just using an example. Yeah, it's but you not, can have that spice and still in, be a baby face. You deep, no, you're deep diving into me saying WWE superstar. I'm just saying she has to have the spice. How she's, If you ask me, she's been a baby face. To me. Yeah, to me too. But but the crowd, but when you change, when, you, when, when AEW starts switching and having you go against heels, and having heels do heel shit to you, and then having the crowd when she did the whole kick in the security and the crowd chant. I mean, of course the crowd's gonna check because you kick the fuck out of security. But I, I just feel like it's a slow turn. And she's gonna be a heel. I mean, she's gonna be a face. Yeah, so. because she has the support because something was taken from her. So she she's not being no bully. She's trying to recover something. And I'm still looking for the Jade action figure. I cannot yeah. find. So. Yeah, I see that. Oh shit! What? This nigga yeah. crazy. <laughs> I thought the nigga seemed like I'm about to stay with myself. <laughs> the clip empty. Fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> For the gigolo, the gigolo. <laughs> hey! Oh shit! That shit hurt. <laughs> <laughs> that shit hurt. Oh man! Oh, nigga, but uh. Man. Yeah, I took the motherfucking clip out. <laughs> Still have one always, in there. It's always one. No, I took. I shot three times. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but that little thing right there hit, hit the fuck out of me. Uh, flowers. Oh shit. Who going first? I'll go first. 
You always go first. No, I don't. You go first, and then I go first, and then he always go. So, but you don't got your flowers, so <laughs> I'll put you on spot. Uh, my flowers go go to, and I hope people don't think that I'm um, <laughs> going Daniel Road. But <laughs> <laughs> but I used to like this superstar when I was a kid, so I don't care. My flowers are gonna go to Tataka. Oh shit! Yeah, Tataka. I was a, a fan of Tataka. I like his yeah. theme song. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what I used to do. Yeah. I used to do yeah. like oh, an Indian. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, Tataka. Yeah. Uh, and he came back all crazy shit though. Remember he yeah. came back all old and shit with the old that uniform on. Think he, think he was still him when he was twenty seven. That was that yeah. was when he joined the um. He joined Million Dollar. Did he? There was no. He no, He came back later on. Oh, two thousand fifteen. Yeah. He, yeah. He came back with that same shit he thought he could fit. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> nah. It wasn't happening. Do the same shit. But he got a. He got a. When he first started off, he got a push. Yeah. Uh, uh, his first pay per view debut was at WrestleMania eight. I guess Rick the model, um, and then he had. I think he was the first superstar to do like the um, undefeated streak. Yeah. But see, I did research. He was undefeated only on television. He was getting beat <laughs> on live yeah. event. I mean, the live events. So some people say he really wasn't undefeated, but on TV. But back then, it was like you didn't count that. The t- the TV was separate. Yeah. Um, but then he lost at WrestleMania nine against the great, the goat. WrestleMania, Mr. WrestleMania, Shawn Michaels. Um, I never said it was on side. He said I tied Shawn Michaels into, into yeah. the shit. You uh, know? Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, Tatanka. Yee, 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 yee. WrestleMania <laughs> one. Shawn Michaels was there. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> See, you really made me say fuck Shawn Michaels every chance. You like you like him because he's cute. <laughs> He, Boss. He's sexy. Boss. And optimized. And all oh, this nigga, I got the looks and the moves. Well, get the fuck out of here. Keep going. Oh, fuck should, I'm going to get you to rap off a of Shawn Michaels beat. I, I no swear, when I heard the beat, I heard it today on It Popped Up on Motherfucking Wish of God. I heard it today. I was like, this nigga said, I think I'm cute. <laughs> I know I'm sexy. What? <laughs> you don't set your bitch ass up. <laughs> but see, original. That's self esteem. No, dog. originally, it, the song Scary Sherry sung yeah. this song originally. Chop, chop, chop. Yeah, oh, it was shit. a female yeah. singing yeah. first, but then he switched it. Well, yeah. it sounded like yeah, that was him. That's his voice, right? Yeah, that's him. Yeah. yeah. Think I'm cute. <laughs> Then I'm sexy. That nigga was in the studio. What do you think they had in the studio making that song? Shit, Jimmy the thong gone. They probably had bitches. In there. <laughs> they nah, they probably had bitches in there. They probably had Sunny. I know him. <laughs> I know. I know I'm cute. God damn. I know I'm sexy. Y'all disrespectful with a goat. <laughs> Y'all wouldn't treat Jordan like that. Yo, Jordan like it's it's public record that Sean Michael's out there doing crazy shit. He was doing drugs, <laughs> alcohol, all that shit. I think he was doing pills. I don't think he was doing coke. I don't think he was doing the, the Tony Khan cocaine. You don't think he was saying? I didn't have it out yet. <laughs> Come on now, Sean Michael's. He was he was a rock star. He was. Definitely. What did the rock stars do back in the day with long hair? Drink drugs. rock star. They did rock star <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> they did rock star shit. So he probably did cocaine with a fucking forty ounce and then sweet shit somebody and fuck the bitch. <laughs> he was living that life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who your flowers going to? My flowers is going to that WrestleMania. Was... WrestleMania one. That's it. It is a black man. Oh, I know you saying, Mister T. Oh God, I pity the fool. I pity the fool. I pity the fool. Fly. Hey, look, I didn't know he was headlining WrestleMania yeah. one. Yeah. I didn't know that. I have my flowers going to Mr. T because you know what? I'm feeling feeling real, real Danielish today. <laughs> and I'm get, giving, giving flowers to a black man that wore a lot of chains with a fucked up haircut but still <laughs> had bitches. That's all I got. Hell yeah. That's the reason why I really, I really, I really, it was either him or Debo. <laughs> <laughs> Zeus, Zeus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Rest glad peace. you picked Mr. T then. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's my turn, right? Oh, shit. oh, shit. We need a drum line for yours. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. You know. We got to start doing a drop for yours. <laughs> jobber of the week. <laughs> nah, I'm not doing no, no jobber today. 
I ain't gonna do that. You know, I ain't gonna go back to back job and shit. <laughs> but thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So my flowers go to somebody who fucked up Brock Lesnar uh this week. All right. Okay. Yeah. World champion, Mr. Bobby Lashley. Shout out to Bobby. Because Shout out to Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Bobby, Bobby, Bobby is, 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 the, is the black wrestler that I feel like that was holding his ground. Even though I feel like sometimes I felt like it wasn't in his favor, but he still came out there and fought. I don't like how he talk. <laughs> I don't like his talking. But his wrestling and his determination to the fucking WWE, I feel like. That's why you got the fucking hurt business. Yeah, yeah and yeah, you can tell yeah. it's official because he got the st- yeah, he yeah. got the sticker on it. Yeah, motherfucker, yes. <laughs> yeah. So today, shout out to you, Bobby. Hey, shout out to Bobby Lashley. You know what? Fuck Bobby Lashley. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. <laughs> I like Bobby Lashley with a headband. <laughs> Hell nah. <laughs> Hell no! Hey, Bobby, hey, I like hey, I like I like TNA Bobby Lashley. Yeah, you see, I didn't listen to the TNA. You know what? I, he did an interview, and somebody asked him, like, "Why do you Why did you use the word a headband?" He said, "Because in TNA, I guess like the studio lights is above them or something, uh-huh. something like that, and he's always make him sweat a lot. Yeah. So when he sweat a lot, the sweat goes into his eyes, and you will see him rubbing his eyes a lot." So when you wear the headband, I guess the sweat it caught it. Caught yeah. It. yeah, but I'm like, yeah, I mean, that's what it's called—a sweatband, yeah. floppy it's a sweatband. ass. It's called a headband. Yeah, yeah, it's looking. But like it just look weird when he bald. He look like a fucking buff ass soldier boy. <laughs> <laughs> Drake, yeah. it's just Brock. I, I'm, I'm never going to promote his promos because I can't. I, I can't stand him. I can't sit there and listen to him talk. I can't do it. How about if it's a fire ass promo though? But he, he just can't, he, like he he's not able to make a fire. I would have to put a filter on his voice <laughs> for like a robotic or like an alien or some shit. Just like, like, like a uh, what's that nigga name for Star Wars? Yeah, some Darth Vader. Yeah, Darth Vader. <laughs> hey, you know something? I just want everybody to acknowledge my shirt. It says, "I love women wrestling." That's just like when a white person says, "A white person says, I have five best black friends." Five best black friends or five no, black, black friends? friends? That's like when you a white said person. best first. Same thing, but I said I love women wrestling. Yeah, but that's the same thing. But I do. Like love you have them. to. You have to promote it because because you try to make me seem like I'm a misogynistic. <laughs> <laughs> this, this nigga, this nigga got got them fucking feminists in my goddamn DMs talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, he loves women wrestling. Nah, fuck that. Put that in the title. <laughs> 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 this nigga got them, got them angry. He animals. just he loves women. He just loved the wrong women in women wrestling. I say that. What? Yeah, you love Shotzi. You love. I um, do not like Shotzi. Ra- Ra- Raquel Rodriguez. I love Raquel. Uh, I like buff back bitches. <laughs> you like uh, Ali, Ali, Aliyah, whatever her name is. She was uh, cute. Hey, her cheeks used to be out. See, you like all the. Trash ones. I like you like uh, Nikki Lyons. I like Bianca. You were just saying how you like Nikki Lyons. I, I don't even like Nikki Lyons. You said she's the best worker in the business. Okay, this is about to go to another segment. <laughs> cut the shit. God damn it. Uh, we ain't even did cut the shit yet. And, uh, and Devontae need to cut the motherfucking shit. I wish I had the thing. I could have plugged it in and be like, cut the shit. <laughs> My cut the shit is <laughs> cut the shit on. Uh, John Moxley on knocking out, um, <laughs> knocking the fuck out of Hangman Page. Goddamn, Moxley cut the shit. Like, oh, did y'all see? Um, um, uh, Athena, aka, AKA Ember Moon, fucking fuck that one bitch up. She looked like she got. She was giving receipts like a mother. Man, she punched her, knocked her down, and kicked the fuck out of her. Then started beating her. I'm like, God damn, what the fuck she do to you? She must be. She she she's angry. About she's angry at that push that she getting that AEW dark shit. <laughs> that motherfucker. You talk about NXT AEW dark. That motherfuckers are, are like no more than thirty people in that bitch. You, you can hear the thumps in the ring. You can hear everything. <laughs> that motherfucker back to COVID wrestling. You, where it was just <laughs> TVs. You telling me I'm mad at NXT? I ain't even mad at NXT. I like NXT for what NXT is a developmental league. You know what? You hate NXT. New That's shirt a new coming, thing. New shirt coming next week. You hate NXT. Just say it. 
I don't know. You think like, everybody in NXT is bullshit? Development is bullshit. You don't even like the superstars. That don't even make sense. You just said that. What did I say? You don't like. You said they're they're developmental. It's developmental. That's what it is. And they bullshit because you don't want to see Austin Theory go down there because they're trash. You think Austin Theory is better than them? Yes, he is. Wow. Austin Theory is better than everybody in NXT. Mm. Austin Theory is not even good. You're Let's be fucking honest. crazy. You in the ring wrestling? All around, he's not good. In, in the ring wrestling, Austin Theory not good. He's a good wrestler. Okay, so you just fucking it's more than just wrestling. Hold on, on the mic, he's, he's trash. Not, you are crazy. He's trash. He's trash. He's trash. He's trash. And I and I keep saying that he's trash. And I won't get he's a shirt. He's better than Bobby Lashley. I won't get a shirt that's that says that says I like uh, Austin Theory's mic work. No. Pause. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. No problem. I will hope you didn't know what his mic work is. <laughs> You're crazy. You're crazy. Austin Theory is fucking fire. Pause. I'm right. You're wrong. How about that? And Bianca can't suck a dick. God damn it. Man. The, show, the, show, the show's not even over yet, man. I'm trying to find out, though. <laughs> you'd be so disappointed. <laughs> if I'm right, you're wrong. You'd be so mad. Now, you'd be so mad. Oh, my God. Anything y'all want to add? Like, AEW sucks? Mm, no. Oh, y'all do y'all cut the shit? Yeah, you got to cut us off. Oh, my bad. You got to cut the shit? Yeah. My cut the shit goes to um, motherfuckers that. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Just in general, cut the shit. <laughs> nah, cut the shit to motherfuckers that haven't subscribed yet. Facts, <laughs> facts. Can we get a group cut the shit? Cut the motherfucking cut shit. The shit. Cut the hey, shit. Hey, subscribe to my to our shit, man. Cut the motherfucking shit. shit. <laughs> Any motherfuckers that ain't tweeted this shit. Cut the shit. Man. Cut the fucking shit. Indie wrestler of the week goes to my boy Grand Reefer. Oh, <laughs> just Blaze. <laughs> this nigga right here funny as fuck. Shout this, out to Grand Reefer. Shout out to Grand Reefer. This He's, motherfucker this nigga smoke a cigarette while wrestling, and uh, the cigarette don't fall out. It's weed. It's weed. Oh, it's weed too. It's weed. It's weed. It's weed. Don't oh, all weed. Impressing me with his city he be doing. I don't know where he way from or what the fuck he be. What the, company he wrestling he with, in? But he be smoking that motherfucking joint. Reefer Federation and shit. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga signed with RVD. He got a T-shirt out right now called Grand Reefer. You cannot get that at the wrestling guy store. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> You get at the reefer store. Yeah, Any yeah. spot that has a green cross in front of it. Um I believe I believe I believe I believe that's <laughs> all, folks. We out to next week. Wrestling's for niggas. <laughs> and don't <laughs> fucking forget it. Wrestling is for niggas. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs>